Greetings, programs. This is Wretch. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. And in the last episode, guys, we helped a villager in Hogsmeade with a uh, butterfly following expedition. Apparently, the butterflies led to a treasure, and it did indeed lead to a valuable item. Uh, when the PS5 alert um, popped up, it actually covered what we won. But apparently, it was something for the Room of Requirement, which we do not have yet. Now, we went ahead and explored a little bit more of the Forbidden Forest. We're up here in, I guess this is called the Collector's Lair. I wonder if I'm safe to explore in there. Or the Collector's Cave. Revelio. And it's not really giving me an option to head in here as of yet. So I assume this is going to have to do something with the story a little bit later on. Speaking of the story, I guess it's time that we go ahead and get back to the main story. Because I don't think we have any side quests or anything. Well, we do have a Merlin trial. Do you want to go ahead and try that? No, I'll get super distracted. Let's go to Hogwarts and we will fast travel to the flying class lawn and start our flying lessons for the very first time. Kind of curious how flying a broom is going to work in this game. And looks like class is in session. Who do you think will fall from their broom first? Not me. Everybody grab a broom and we shall get started. Madam Kogawa. Mr. Clothen, your attention, please. Sorry, Madam Kogawa. Everyone, please welcome a new student to our flying class. Welcome. Hello. Hello. The goal of today is to remind all of you how to maneuver on a broomstick safely, as broom flight is, first and foremost, a means of transportation. This, I fear, some of you have forgotten. Diving, rolling, and loop-the-loops will not be taught or in fact tolerated in this class. We'll leave that to professional Quidditch players, like the Toyohashi Tengu. Boo! Not a fan, I take it? <laughs> now, Let's see how well everyone kept up with their practice over the summer holidays. For those who need a refresher, step up to your broom, say up firmly and clearly, then kick your leg over and rest your weight on the seat. Up. Lovely. Thank you. Aww. Now, your turn. Up, 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 you stupid ratty school broom. Up. Easy peasy. One leg over, so there's a leg on each side. None of that side saddle nonsense. A gust of wind will throw you right off. I like her. <laughs> and if you hear my whistle while you're in flight, ground yourself at once. Oh. Good. Now, for your first lesson, fly through each ring in the courtyard. Oh. Do take care. The brooms oh, are school property. This will take some getting property. used to. I want them returned in one piece. I wish piece. I had my own broom. Oh god, it's Superman 64. Well done. Now that you're acclimatized to your broom, let's see how well you manage with a more advanced exercise, shall we? Let's shall. This next set of rings will take you around the grounds for more of a challenge. Oh, there's the gas. What a view. <laughs> That's Hello. okay. Nice day for a flight. Very much so. <laughs> this is rather fun. Daniel seems to be enjoying himself. Ah, oh, the old boathouse. Wish you could have experienced crossing the lake as the first year. I like Madame Kugawa just like ribbing folks here in England about their Quidditch teams. Like your teams are trash. Whoa, our aquatic resident likes to make an appearance once in a while. Oh God, the toast squid. Oh. Or the Toasty Kraken. I don't know. Oh, 
<laughs> Brilliant. Control's pretty smooth, I have to say. Oh, well done. Have a moment. Oh, this was the dude who was flourishing his broom earlier. I say, I watched you fly through those rings. You seem to handle yourself on that dusty school broom well enough. I'd imagine you're ready for something a bit more challenging. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We haven't properly met. I'm Everett Clopton. Am I right in suspecting that a Slytherin like you might be interested in making an escape from class? Eh, it is kind of on brand, isn't it? <laughs> Can't say no to that. What did you have in mind? A bit of a detour, so to speak. Follow me. Are we gonna race? The tour is about to begin. Oh. Follow closely now. Right now, we're flying over the Transfiguration Courtyard. <laughs> Lovely. Let's hope the headmaster isn't having tea by the window today. He likes flying past the battlements. Good grief. Nice to get above it all, isn't it? Whoop. Ahead of the gardens. The Hufflepuff common room windows just peek out. Bit claustrophobic for my taste. It's cool because we have. How is ever at flying so quickly? Explored this Here's already. Handy to know. Lean forward for a burst of speed. Helpful if you need to escape a tricky situation. L2. Ha <laughs> ha! Now that's more like it. Ooh, we got the nuts. Sure, you're not part hippogriff. There's the famous bridge! Think of all the magic holding it up. I mean, look at it! And Meowlery! That's a bit of solid architecture, isn't it? Flying tips and jaunt around Hogwarts. This is quite the tour, Everett. We need to head over to the Quidditch uh, field as well. Ooh. That's Kagawa's whistle. This concludes our tour. Best hurry back. We are hurrying back. And hopefully we do not get in trouble. Looks like she's already dismissed class. Better hurry and hand in our brooms. Oop. Dismount here. Oh, that was neat. And where have you two been? Don't. Oh, hello, Professor. We were trying to get a bit of extra practice in. Hefty points will be taken from each of you for not following my instructions. Mr. Clopton, I am disappointed in you. You're in this class because you're, I... still, because you're still not showing yourself, or frankly, your broom, the proper respect. But, Professor... Enough. Class is finished for the day. Can we have a few points, not a hefty amount? As for you... You do well to use better judgment in the future. Chin up. That was some rather good flying. Ah, uh, okay. Worth it, though. Sorry about that business with Kagawa. But you have to admit, those views were worth it. No regrets. It was worth losing a few house points for that detour. You seem at home on a broom. Bet if you had a fancy model, you could fly laps around Imelda. She's Kagawa's favorite. I could show her a thing or two if I had my own broom. Hate having to return the school broom after class. Perhaps I have to purchase a broom then. If you can, you should. Wish I could. I recommend visiting Albie Weeks at Spintwitch's in Hogsmeade. He's always looking to test new models. I'll keep an eye out for you in the sky. All right. Complete main quests. You've unlocked rewards available in the challenges menu. Oh, ding. All right, there was a lot of stuff right there. Um, quests. Six main stories completed. Legendary armored attire. Cool. Next up is legendary mask. I guess we're going full vigilante here. Um, what else did we have? Oh yeah, we had a talent point. 
Did we want to go ahead and use one? We already went and got those. Dark Arts, Enduring Curse. Maybe we need to go ahead and use the Wigan Well um, booster. Blocking a projectile, range of Revelio. We still don't know anything about the Room of Requirements. Well, for each Chinese chomping cabbage thrown, a second chomping cabbage is generated and released at no cost. A Duras potion makes you invulnerable and deflects projectile attacks back to enemies. Hmm. Tell you what. I actually, considering the fact that I love stealth so much, we're going to go with Sense of Secrecy 2. We are a stealthy boy. What's that one? A petrif Petrificus Totalis emanates an area of effect that can impact nearby enemies. Oh, that's neat. Alright, I know what I'm going to get at level 22. Cool. Now what? I guess maybe we could go ahead and explore. I've not forgotten about our library venture. How did you fare? If you're keen for some illicit spell practice, meet me outside the Defense Against the Dark Arts classroom. I know a discreet place near there. Near the Dark Arts classroom? Good day to you. I require assistance with a delivery and thought you might be interested. Please visit me at J. Pippin's Potions if you'd like to earn a few coins. I would. Please meet me in the seventh floor corridor. Revelio. I have an idea for somewhere you can focus on your studies, away from prying eyes and distractions. Oh. Is that how we get the uh, room of requirement unlocked? Maybe. You know... What is this? No pets. That's interesting. I don't know if we necessarily need to come over here until we get a broom. And we had Jay Pippin want to talk to us over in Hogsmeade, so it may make sense to go ahead and travel there first. Yes. But is that the Spent Witch's sporting needs? Were we able to come in here before? When we were exploring? Hogsmeade, here I come. Has there ever been a vampire worth knowing? Don't... Oh, oh. new face! Wonderful! Oh, I definitely didn't come in here. Revelio. Spent Witch's Sporting Needs. Run by the amiable Albie Weeks, this shop sells all manner of wizarding sporting goods, including the latest broom models. Gossip around town is that Albi himself is working on a number of broom enhancements. Cool, that is a big chest. Let me go ahead and... Uh, unidentified neck item. And there's another one. Mahogany fingerless gloves. Hello, Mr. Weeks, is it? Albi Weeks at your service. Welcome to Spin Witches. Apologies if you came by before and weren't able to come in. Shop's been closed since trade routes were disrupted. I had to travel as far as London to meet with my supplier. And I've only just returned, thankfully with inventory. I presume you're in the market for a new broom? Got a few rare yew weavers available, ember dash, silver arrows, wind wisps too. No matter what broom you choose, you'll be pleased. They're all exceptional, both in quality and performance. You said disrupted trade routes caused you to close, Spent Witches. Terrible it's been. Trade routes reported as unusable. Evidently criminals were overtaking roads, threatening hamlets. I can fly safely almost anywhere, but you try flying with an inventory of brooms on your back. No easy feat. Right then, back to work. If a particular broom takes your fancy, just let me know. Figure that would make him a really easy target. 
Do you mind sharing more about your brooms? I have a passion for them. Every detail of every model. Take Windwisps, well known for their quality ash handles. You weavers are rare because some fear flying them, likely to do with the u ones darker reputation. Then you add the Ember Dash, known for its handsome appearance. Working with brooms every day makes me practically giddy. It's one of many reasons I cherish running this shop. He's the Wizarding World's equivalent to a car guy. Sure. Sounds quite the array of brooms. I'll have a look around. Thank you. So... What are we looking for today? Aw, oh, sick. 600? Oh, we can afford a broom. The perfect broom for those with fiery temperament. That item is of the highest quality. Okay, that's kind of awesome. I like the fact that the end of the broom is burnt on the back. Hogwarts House Broom. A broom enchanted to celebrate your particular Hogwarts House pride. That item is of the highest quality. I think we actually had these during class. Looks like the Slytherin icon is on the back. Moon Trimmer. That item is of the highest quality. Okay, I like the saddlebags and the lantern hanging off the front. That's cool. Windwisp. That item is of the highest quality. Hmm. And you, Weaver. And this is the one that apparently has a bad reputation. I don't know. Out of all of those, I wouldn't mind the Hogwarts house broom and the moon trimmer broom. You know what? We got the money. Let's just buy everything. You'll be thrilled with that broom. I promise you. Can we sell? Oh, yes, we can. Charming school cloak. Nice doing business with you. Mahogany fingerless gloves. And yeah, we're going to keep these just in case. We still have over 10,000. Whilst nearly any broom will certainly be a step up from the practice brooms in Kagawa's class, they all have their limitations. You seem to be a flyer who might be interested in, say, some enhancements? Go on. Ha! Knew I was right about you! I think you'll be quite happy with the performance of any broom at lower altitudes. But you may notice that speed consistency tends to falter as you rise. I believe I can remedy this issue. I have some ideas for enchantments, upgrades, if you will, that will improve the performance of any broom you fly. What I need is someone to conduct a broom flight and report back to me so I can perfect the upgrades. As it happens, another Hogwarts student, Imelda Rays, is using abandoned broom courses for time trials. Clever girl. An ideal situation for collecting flight statistics. If you were to compete for the best time and succeed, then report back to me with how your broom behaved, I could complete work on my first upgrade. What say? He's going to hook us up with the NAS. How long have you had a passion for brooms? Since the moment I saw my first Quidditch match. Seeing flyers manoeuvre the way they do. Oh, some people continue to have their doubts about me and my ideas. I hope that won't dissuade you from helping. I know I'm onto something. Well, at least he got the passion for it, like watching Quidditch. If he had said, oh, I've seen it by watching me mum sweep the kitchen, that would have been a bit of a problem. Why do you need me to report to you on this broom flight? I did try to get Imelda to help, but she has some flying habits and quirks that made her difficult to collaborate with. I need a flyer with no bad habits and the knack for flying. Your classmate Everett said you're a natural on a broom. He's forever in here studying the newest models, almost as passionate about brooms as I am. If your rumoured talent for flying can help you beat Imelda's times, then having you assess the broom will be invaluable. Sounds as if you took Kagawa's class. I did, but my focus on the technical elements of brooms rather than the art of flying drove her mad. She thinks it fitting I run spint witches now. I don't reckon either of us ever pictured me batting away bludgers for the cannons or Puddlemere United. And I find a certain satisfaction in winning over the naysayers who think I may be too young to run this shop. With your help, I can continue proving myself the most knowledgeable purveyor of wizarding sporting goods around. 
You can see him in class, ignoring everything to read his issue of popular broom mechanics. That sounds intriguing. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. It'll be worth your while. If I'm right, the new upgrade ought to enhance brooms in every regard. And I can give you a special price. The time trial should be a bit of fun too. Go to the Quidditch pitch and Imelda Rays will sort you out. Oh, there we go. See? We Once need... you've beaten Imelda's time, be sure to let me know. Hogsmeade and certain other areas prohibit flying. Look for the no flying icon near the mini-map. Okay. Ah, I can't help but admire Mr. Weeks' enthusiasm. Alright, so let's go ahead and yeah, we can equip a broom here. Um let's go with Let's go with the Slytherin one to start. And I know we have some other stuff in here too. I know that we need to go talk to Pippin. But there was something else here. Perry Pippin of J. Pippin's Potions and Al regarding delivery. We got the flight test. Um, Professor Sharp wants me to test myself. Why don't the influence of both the Maxima and Edurus Potions? Also like me to field test a Focus Potion. I... Well, actually, what are... And then we get... There it is. The Room of Requirement confirmed. Conjuring Spell, Ivanesco, and Conjuration Spellcraft. Alright, we got a lot to do. Um, what potions do we have? I guess would probably be the most important thing to ask. Uh, Dittany Leaves... Oh, I guess I can't see. Well, never mind. Let's... How do we get to... Pippin's shop? There's the tomes. I guess I might as well use the map, right? Yes, I know. That that location. There we go. Maybe we can find the potions in here while we're talking to uh Pippin. Hello there. In the market for potions, are we? Let's buy what first. What can I do for you today? Focus potion recipe. Oh, the, this is where the money comes from. Okay. Thunder brew. I will buy that. A wise decision. Thank you. Buy that. So we can't outwardly buy potions. Visibility potions. Oh, we can. Um. We needed a Focus Potion, an Erdurus Potion, and what else? A Maxima? A wise decision. Thank you. I'm glad we had all this coin. I hope to see you again. Farewell for now. We've learned all the things. Now, I guess... Let's go ahead and track this for Professor Sharp's assignment. And then we get to Pulso. Acquire and use Focus. Acquire Maxima and Endurus and use them simultaneously. Um, I'm not sure how we... Switch between all of these. Yeah, see, we got resources, beast, quest items. I guess we have to look under gear. Flying mounts. Hmm. I'm confuzzled. We have those, yes. No path available for op to open quest objectives. 
Oh, there we go. The wheel. I figured it out. Okay, Iridus and Maxima. Let's go ahead and... We've got Focus and Blues. Now, excellent. Oh, that's kind of terrifying. I've turned into the thing from Fantastic Four <laughs> or a gargoyle. Attend potions class during the day. Okay, cool. I don't know how long this is. I think it's about to clear up. There we go. That was slick. Okay, Bibbin, I'm sorry. What did you well, need? Do let me know if I can be of any assistance at all. Hello, Mr. Pippin. You need help with the delivery? Yes, I do. A capable student such as yourself should have no trouble making the trip to Cambridge. It's just south of Hogwarts. What do you need delivered? Fatimella Wang ordered a few invisibility potions. I used to go myself, but lately Fatima has taken to turning every visit into an argument. Constantly complaining about the quality of my stock. But how can I maintain excellence when she orders so often, giving me no time to brew? If you'd take this rather irritating task off my hands, I'd happily allow you to claim the delivery fee from Fatima. Do we have a Karen situation here? I'd rather not deal with difficult people, but for a reward, I think I can manage. Indeed. Here are the invisibility potions she requested. Hopefully she won't give you too much trouble. She's a talented potioner in her own right. I dare say I wouldn't mind having a look at her potion recipes one day. Is that a euphemism there, Pippin? Deliver three invisibility potions. found a bit of potions. treasure in the forest. Revelio. I was never one for adventure myself. Well, you, my friend, are missing out. What is that down there? Is that another one of the... Yes, it is. Let's get some of our money back, shall we? Revelio. Considering all the coin we just spent on potions and lord knows what else. Rebellion. Um, man, so many locks. Kitty. Aw, pretty blue eyes. Well, I'm kind of. I've actually realized that Daniel's temperament is very cat-like, much like my own, to tell you the god's honest truth. Cool. Well, we can go ahead and change our look there. Let's go buy the clothing uh, depot real quick. Did I buy everything that I could over here? You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these socks. Oh. Dun, 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 dun. Father, why is he dancing? Okay, much better. Rebellion. And let's see. Come on in and have a look around. No touching if you have sticky fingers. Oh, so many more things we can buy. I love it. You know what? Let's do this. Unidentified head item. What? Is that a head, unidentified head item? Cost zero. You won't be disappointed. Thank That's you. a Gladrax promise. Let's just go ahead and wipe out our bank account. What do you say? Sanguine mask. Looks like Kane's. Indigo sorcerer hat. You won't be disappointed. That's a Gladrax promise. Um, elegant casual uniform, athletic house robe. Now, actually, we can go ahead and sell all this stuff off and grab the rest. My gear slots are full. That's okay. Let's go ahead and exit out, just so. I suspect you have a sharp eye for fashion. We have got all these Be sure things. To stop by whenever you're about. 
And I'll tell you what, guys, because we are about to call it an episode, I'll finish this up off camera. And sure we'll be in good shape to go ahead and maybe do the delivery for Pippin or check out a whole bunch of other stuff. So I hope you all have enjoyed it. It was pretty fun today. But if you all liked the episode, please leave a like down below. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment. That'd be a big help. And we'll see you next time. Later days, everyone.